Hi guys, welcome back. And today we are going to talk about the Olama's all new web search API, which was introduced like a couple of days before. And what exactly is the Olama's web search API and how it is going to help us do search capability within our code while we use the local large language model of Olama. For instance, if you have been following Olama closely, you might note that the GPT OSS 20 billion parameter has the capability of doing the search capability along with the normal inferencing of a large language model. For example, if you try to ask a question which is pretty much like a news which is not being used to train the large language model, then you can use the search capability uh, where the large language model is going to go and fetch the internet and then it's going to get the information out pretty much like how the chat GPT or Claude or Google Gemini does. The same thing is going to happen with the local large language model as well as you can see over here it did a lot of searching and thinking uh, and get the information online and then it gives the entire information of the impact everywhere across the regions like taiwan philippines hong kong uh, and many more countries so this is something which is available for us because now there is a search capability for the large language model from the olama cloud that is how it is all happening and this was restricted just with the Olama's uh, tool that you can do, which is this one, as you can see over here. But we did not have any API so far to gain access to this web search capability. And all these days, if you are like me, who is using Langchain or any other tool to perform the web search capability, we used to use this tool uh, like Wikipedia query search or even the DuckDuckGo search or maybe the Bing search, which is also a paid search capability that which you have to use by using their own API key and then uh, get the search information like real-time search information while you try to uh, perform any operation that's how I used to do that all the time if I want any real-time information uh, being processed by the local large language model that is how it was all being used all these days that's how i use in my courses in udemy as you know there are courses in udemy where i talked about build and test the uh, ai agents chatbot rag with the olama and local large language model so you can see that in, in this entire course i have been talking about how we can use the search capability to the large language model uh, by getting the information from DuckDuckGo search or the wikipedia search uh, for the large language model to gain access to the information and use the tool creation to perform all these operations and if you have already seen this particular course you know what i'm really talking about and what if i wanted to use the same capability without needing to use another plugin like the DuckDuckGo search or the wikipedia search and just use the olama to perform this operation and in order for me to achieve that we have this new api called as the web search api and we have also got another new api which is called as the web fetch api so if we just go down a bit over here now you will also see that we have got the web fetch which is basically to fetch the entire page and get the information of this particular page out for you which you can then use uh, to search any result or perform any operation on that particular page you can also do that as well so these are the two things that you can do using this all new web search capability of olama and i'm going to quickly show you how the code can be written to perform this operation and I am fusing this entire code that you are seeing over here uh, as described in this particular page with the Langchain and I'm going to use the pretty much exactly the same idea over here. In order for you to work with the Olama's web search capability, you need to create a Olama API key and once you have the API key, then you can just use that by passing in the header with the bearer token uh, and then you can give the query, then it is just going to work for you. That is how it is going to work. But you need to just specify which uh, large language model that you are going to be using. As you can see in this particular example, what they are trying to do right now is they are going to use the uh, the QN3 4 billion parameter and they are going to create a tool like this like the web search tool over here and then they are passing it to the large language model and it is going to give you the response like what you're looking for right that is how things are going to work over here and I'm going to fuse the exact same code with the Langchain as you can see over here so this is very very straightforward code all I have done over here is I have created an API key uh, using the Olama so you just have to log into Olama like me like how I have did it 
it. And if I'm going to the settings uh, and if I go to the key, you can see that I have got my uh, API key. I also have got my local uh, key as you can see over here. And once you have this key, you can just paste that key over here uh, and then you can create a client from Olama import of the client class. And once you have the client class, you can just pass the host and the header as we just saw in the documentation. And once we have these two, then the client is ready. And then we can use this client to perform any of these operations like client.web search and web fetch. So we can do both of these operations. These are the two new API which is released just now. And what I have did in this particular code is I have created two tools in the lang chain, as you know, which is going to be the Olama web search tool and there is Olama web fetch tool. So what this particular tool is going to do over here, the web search tool is that it is going to search the web using the Olama web search API. And the argument that I'm passing in is that the search query string and get the top 10 results. So I'm not going to uh, extend with like 100 results or something like that, but I want to restrict it to 10 results only and no more and return the uh, list of search results with the title, URL and the content. This is what is my expectation. That is a prompt that I'm passing in. And then I'm going to pass it to the uh, client of the web search, passing the entire query that I'm passing in, and then I'm going to get the response. So this is exactly what I'm going to be doing over here. And this is going to be the tool operation that I'm going to do. The same thing goes for the web fetch as well, where it's going to get the uh, or fetch the uh, content of a page, which I'm going to give. And then it's going to get me the title, content and the links over here. And once I have these two tools, I'm going to use these tool with the uh, chat Olama where I'm going to use the model, which is the GPT OSS latest model. So I already have the GPT OSS latest model uh, installed within my local machine. So I can just use that particular uh, uh, model. And then I'm going to uh, register the tools over here. And I'm using a chat prompt template where I'm going to say you are a helpful assistant uh, to search the web page and the uh, and fetch the web page uh, something like this and then you are going to call the particular agent and the agent executor uh, is going to perform all these operations for us over here uh, and you can see that it's going to be invoking and what I have done over here in order to invoke is that I'm just going to say the agent executor at invoke and I'm going to just say the query over here is what is the latest development in the AI model in 2025 so if I'm going to do this this guy is going to invoke the web search tool that we have got which is this one and similarly if I'm going to ask another query over here fetch the information from this particular page uh, and summarize with the what Olama does so if I'm going to do this one it is going to go and do a web fetch operation for us over here and it's going to return the particular value. So that is how this particular code is going to work. So I'm going to quickly show you how the search capability and the web fetch capability is going to work. So I'm going to open the terminal over here and I'm going to run this particular code. But before that, I'm going to do activate my Python virtual environment and then I'm going to go to this particular folder. Uh, and now I'm going to just do a uh, python olama search dot pi and once again before i even execute this all these discussion that i'm talking about like the uh, toolings that you are seeing over here or the prompt template whatever that you are seeing is all available uh, in my udemy course where we have talked about all of these informations uh, like how the lang chain really works and what are the chains what are the uh, histories like runnable histories and things and also how you can work with the prompt templates and chat prompt templates so all of these informations are already covered in this particular course so if you really want to learn about the lang chain i highly recommend you to go and watch over there well as that said let's try to run this particular code and see what's going to happen the moment i run this particular code you can see that the agent executor chain is going to be uh, executed and this particular guy is going to go and invoke the olama web search because the first thing that we did was to perform a search operation. We did not tell which tool to use really, but we just invoked the agent executor directly. And you can see that the Olama web search is being uh, invoked. And this guy is right now gonna go and search online and gonna get that information for us. And you can see that it has got the entire information uh, as you can see over here. So it did some thinkings uh, uh, and it got the entire information because it is not really uh, running in a streamed environment. You're not really not seeing what's really happening behind the scene. But this is what uh, it has got as an uh, information. So if I'm going to just copy this whole thing in the green color uh, over here, 
uh, or maybe just from here. This is the search result. So I'm just going to go grab this whole information uh, until here. And if I'm going to go to the Chrome browser and I'm just going to preview this particular uh, markdown over here, you can see that this is the information that the large language model has gave us by going and fetching the information from online. You can see that the year that thinking and reasoning moved from buzzword to the core capability in the AI model. So we have got the GPT-5 uh, and then we have got the Gemini Robotics over here then Skygen and Meta's uh, Mosaic and Microsoft's Azure Neural Agent uh, and more. So see that these are things that is currently happening in the industry right now, which you can actually learn from here. And you can also see that we have got a Olama fetch, like web fetch capability has been invoked for this particular page, where it has got all the informations by reading through that particular page uh, and getting all the informations from that particular page. And it has generated this particular response. So I'm just going to uh, probably copy uh, from here. This is the fetch result. So if I'm going to copy this, uh, and if I'm going to go and paste this particular result over here, you can see that Olama is a lightweight open source tool that lets you run large language model locally in your machines. Uh, and these are the features that it has got uh, within this particular Olama page that we just gave. So these are all happening because it did web fetch for us and also it did the web search. And these are the two new APIs introduced by Olama to perform this operation. And this way it is going to make our life way more easier because now we have all of these capabilities. But now you may ask, Karthik, is it all free to use this search all the time? Right now you can do quite a lot of search and it is generously available for free in the Olama cloud. But the moment... It is going to go from preview to maybe live. You are going to be restricted with the only like number of uses that you can do with the search and the fetch capability. But at least for now, it looks pretty good. So that's it, guys. This is all about the all new web search and the web fetch capabilities of the uh, Olama libraries. And I think you really like how it is going to be used while you don't really have to use any third party search capabilities anymore. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and catch you in the next one.